This tutorial explores constructing a roof with an internal courtyard with hips and valleys all the way around just like the roof that you see on screen just now. So the way to start is with a new job File New. We're not going to save our job just now. And then using our regular roof construction outline process we'll work with uh, the perimeter measurements provided by the plan. So we'll come down 30 right 30 down 55 left 55 creating our internal courtyard and now the tricky bit just bear this in mind we want to come right normally 25 feet but we're going to come right 24 foot 11.9 inches we need a tiny little gap between the two and that's necessary for the roof to construct the right geometry failing to do that and it won't work and now we go up 30, left 50, down 130, right 130, and close square. We're happy with our outline. We select finish, and then we specify the defaults for the roof and work with zero overhang. It's a lot easier. The slope will be whatever it will be, 612 works for me and the eave height is 12 feet, we hit OK and we hit continue and the software builds a roof it's one big continuous roof but what we need to do now is join it in the middle first step is to turn those two ends into gable ends using modify roof hip to gable and if we look at that in the isometric view you'll see that we've now got our donut shaped roof with uh, separate planes. If I verify one of those planes, Tools Verify, you'll see that we've got one plane area there and one plane area there. What we want is for those planes to be joined together. So uh, f first of all what I'm going to do is just delete anything around there that the software is free to delete and then turn whatever the lines are there into nothing lines. That is uh, to ensure that we don't get additional trim in our cut list which will be over what's required. So we repaint, looks about right, but now we join them together. We use Modify Roof, Advanced, and Merge Planes. We merge this plane with this one, we merge this plane with this one. So now when we verify, you will see they're all um, joined together as one continuous area. And that's it. So when we get our reports, we have precisely the right material, the right areas, and everything else. And now we're free to continue with the rest of our quotation. And that's it for this exercise. Thanks for dropping by, and we look forward to seeing you on another tutorial. Bye for now.